Hey everybody, back with a little quick video here just to kind of tell you guys what I've been up to and what the plan is. Uh, uh, the number one plan is uh, uh, putting this back in the box and putting it on the shelf. Kind of lost interest in it and uh, uh, it's, I'm not feeling it so it's going to go back in the box for another day. After doing that uh, video about your stash and stuff, uh, and looking at my stash, I kind of got the mood for something else. So I'm going to put that one away for a while. And then a little update on this thing. Uh, pretty neat little trailer. Uh, what I decided to do, it's not quite done yet, but I'll give you a little update. I decided to leave it clear it's just a neat old piece so I thought I'd leave it clear uh, for a display case and then you know if I want to use it for a diorama or something I'll just uh, I'll just take and uh, pop this off and you got a cool little trailer and uh, this thing here let me go back here I polished it up it turned out pretty good I just I just couldn't paint it. It's just it's so neat being clear. I just didn't want to paint it, so it'll be a display case. So, but it's a pretty neat little trailer. It, the way the axles go together, that it lets it pivot like that, like a real trailer. So that's kind of cool. It comes with the toolbox there on the front. So I kind of decaled it up a little bit. Came with a couple of those gas cans. I added a shelf in there. I got a toolbox I'm going to put on there. Right there. And it come with some little oil cans. So I painted them up. Tried to make them look like some real oil cans. And like a race car guy would do, put decals all over it. I still got to put lights on it. Maybe a few little touch up things here and there. But it's a neat trailer. So uh, I kind of want to just use it as that. So it turned out all right. And the uh, the car on there, I just threw that on. That's something I built, oh, geez, back in the late 80s. As you can tell by everything painted body color. But uh, it's, yeah, it's pink. Uh, I like pink. And this looked pretty good pink. I used uh, that paint there, which is awesome paint. Yeah, they can't find it anymore. Uh, they found some old cans. I don't know if they'd still be good or not, but I sure like to find some. Because uh, that's some really good paint. Some of the paint jobs I did with that just came out super glossy and smooth. Uh, I might have showed you guys this before, but it's, it was really good paint. Uh, if I ever do a, any showing any models with that paint on it. I'll, I'll mention it again so you can see how smooth it came out. This this uh, came out pretty good. I wasn't really going for a super high gloss finish, even though you know it's a drag car. You can make them look good, I guess, but it's a race car, so it turned out pretty good. I did black trim around the windows and uh, Put the side windows in. Kind of a fictitious thing with uh, my name on it and the name of my company. And that TMC is from an old sprint car. And it matched the, the initials for my uh, fictitious name there, my company. So that worked out kind of good. And I built another one of these I'll show you later and uh, did some more detailing made it more of a pro comp i guess type car but get these ramps out there while we're here might as well show you a little bit of it like i say it's uh it's pretty old but uh did some detail work on the motor did the plug wires and the wire looms throttle spring radiator holes all that good stuff all near wire 
brake lines, fuel pump there with the fuel lines, and a big old carburetor from the old monogram pro stock kits, and the motors, pink, all everything's pink. Uh, interior, it's got pink seats, pink roll bar. Spin around here and get another look at that. Got the tack with the wire there. And all that, a lot of detail work inside. And then when you put the side glass in and the decals on the glass, you can't really see it very well. But it turned out, it turned out okay. So you can see the paint's not perfectly flat. I didn't color sand it or anything. And uh, let's see if I can get it on its side here. Let's just back up here a little bit. I'll take a look under the chassis here. I did a little bit of detailing on there, but again, it's all pink. Got your uh, little fuel pump thingy there, filter thing. And then you got your fuel lines and your brake lines going up. So it was a fun little build. It's a really Really nice kit. I love that kit, the Pro Street one and the uh, and the uh, stock one. I built a few of them. I love that body style. So anyway, I just see that on the trailer, so you get an idea how nice that trailer is. There's there's how it looks. I kind of masked off a little bit when I paint it, so give it a little eyeball. And the diamond plate there kind of made that, you know. Different color. Whoops! I went to I went to gas can. But that's a really cool trailer, and I'm happy with the trailer. So anyway, that's that. I'll finish that up, and then I'm gonna decide what I want to do next. Uh, don't forget uh, Friday morning we're doing uh, Friday morning model cars and coffee. So tune in and we'll see what shows up for that you never know who's going to show up or what's going to show up and let's see what else oh yeah uh channel is uh, going uh way better than i thought you know doing this to have fun and to meet some guys and talk and stuff and you know over 200 subscribers now never thought that would happen I'm really uh, excited about that. I appreciate it very much. All you guys, thank you so much. And I love all the comments and everybody talking with me. And like I said, having lots of fun. I'm learning a lot. And, and we'll zoom in on there again. So I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll just uh, talk models and show models and... and uh, have lots of fun, which is what it's all about. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. And everybody stay safe out there. There's some crazy storms coming through. I'm sure some of you guys are getting hit. So uh, I think the, what's his name over at Red Barn was getting hit. Had a tornado warning and stuff. So it's scary. So man, you guys stay safe. Hunker down if you need to. And we'll see you guys Friday morning, model cars and coffee, and we'll talk some more. So everybody take care, and we'll see you then. Bye.